Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is another brand new day. For this is the day the Lord God Almighty has made for you and I to rejoice and be glad in it. I want to bless everyone today for a glorious day, another day entirely. A day we have never seen before. Hallelujah. It's a glorious day. I want to bless everyone in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray for everyone that will be listening to my voice very shortly this afternoon. I say the power of God will locate you for greatness in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree on that to, to everyone that will be listening to my voice today that the Lord God Almighty will use his, will shine his face on you and you will, you know, whatever you do from today, you shall prosper in it. Hallelujah. And I want to use this opportunity to tell everyone that from today, do not panic again. Whatever your situation may be, do not panic. Hallelujah. Do not panic. Just cheer up. For God Almighty is with you like a mighty, terrible one. Hallelujah. Though things come your way, you may stumble, but you will not fall. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that is bothering you in your heart right now, God Almighty is going to see you through. I'm talking to every believer, every Christian. Hallelujah. That wheelchair you are sitting, you cannot move on your own. It is for your good. Amen. That sleepless night you are always having, it is for your good. That uh, financial crisis you are going through right now, it is for your good. Whatever it is, that sickness in your body right now, it is for your good. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that is happening to you right now, it is for your good. God has a purpose. If God did not permit it, it cannot happen. Whatever it is that you are going through right now, let it not take you away from God. Let your situation not take you away from God. Instead, let it draw you very close to God. Let your situation, that rejection you are going through right now, that rejection you are going through right now, that disappointment, things are not working the way you expected. It is for your good. Hallelujah. I have good news for somebody today. All things work together for your good. All things, the Bible did not say some things. All things work together for good to those that love God. That is God talking by himself. All things work together for good. Now let's get our Bible very quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 27 verse 10. Psalm 27 verse 10. The book of Psalm. The book of Psalm chapter 27. The book of Psalm chapter 27. Chapter 27 verse 10. Book of Psalm 27, verse 10, I will read. When my father and my mother forsake me, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Did you hear that? When my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take care of me. I'm talking to you that is watching me right now. You have no excuse at all not to serve the Lord. That is why I told you, you know, this media is to encourage you and to tell you the real truth. The truth. The truth. Not just to encourage you, but to tell you the truth. Hallelujah. When your father, your mother, when friends, when your colleagues in the working place, when your family members, when those that you rely on, you trust on, when they reject you, they push you away. The Lord said that he will pick you up. He will take care of you. Let us read it again. When my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take care of me. Psalm 27 verse 10. Psalm 27 verse 10. Take note of it. It's very strong. So you can see that all things work together for your good. You that is crying. You know, nobody care about me in the family. Nobody even want to even ask me. You are a senior, but they are looking down on you. You are a senior, but... They are looking down on you like you are the junior one. Because you are not measuring or because you are not, you know, financially buoyant to their standard. Every child in the family is not putting hand on your head. Because you cannot, you are not, not you cannot, because maybe your time hasn't come. Because that moment or at that time, you are not meeting up to what they expect from you. So a child that you take care of will begin to put hand on your head to command you. 
in your working place, those that you are, you are better of that in skills, in the work, everything, they want to oppress you, maybe because of one thing or the other. Anywhere you go, people reject you. The most painful part of it, I'm talking to you that is watching me right now. In your family, you don't have any voice because they feel that, you know, you are not, you, 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 you are not going to amount to anything because they are not getting anything from you. But they forget to realize that God's time is always the best. And God makes all things beautiful in his own time. I'm talking to you right now. Listen to me. Everyone listening to my voice. God make all things beautiful in his own time. Our time is not God's time. God said in his word, just as the earth is far, just as the heaven is far from the earth, so also his thoughts towards you that they are rejecting, that they are looking down on, is also far. The thought he has towards you is far. It's very, very far. You don't have a clue. But people don't understand. Nobody wants to take advice from you, even though you have the advice that will save them from the, the calamity or from whatever is happening to them. You have what it takes. But financially, they are not seeing the financial flowing out of you, so they think you are nobody. God is talking to you right now. He said when you go through that, he himself will pick you up. That's why I say all things work together for good. There are some things when you don't go through it, God will not remember you. Not until family begin to reject you. Not until friends begin to stay. Not until you begin to go through some certainties. God will not remember you. Because our ways are not God's ways. Here he said, if my father, if my mother, if your father, if your mother, if your colleagues in the working place, if your business partners, if those you rely on, you trusted, they despise you. They don't even take advice from you because they, they feel, uh, what, what good is coming out from Nazareth? What good? Why should we call her? Or why should we call him to even seek advice? You know, it's not, it's not of importance. So let us do things in our own way. When it gets to that, God said, he will not pick you up. He will pick up your case. And when God pick up your case, trust God. Ah. Those that look down on you right now will begin to look up to you. Unless if pride doesn't want them to come down. God said, the Bible says that, if people despise you, so can you see that despising is good? Rejection is good. Those who doesn't, who doesn't know that God's hand is upon you, who doesn't know the thought of God towards your life, they don't know. They don't know. Nobody can read the mind of God. We are living in a world that people so depend on, people so love money, that seniors don't have say anymore. If you are a senior in a family, you don't have say they so love money. They so respect money. I know money answers all things. But money should not be in charge of your life to the extent you will not even have regard for those that you need to have regard for. So as Christians, I'm telling you, if you are facing such a challenge, peradventure in your family or in your working place, in your business place, in the, in the, the, the street where you are, anywhere, I am telling you that this message is for you. Take it and digest it. Because God is locating you for greatness. He said, when they reject you, when you go through that rejection, that persecution, that disappointment, he will pick you up. Can you get that? Psalm 27 verse 10. Read it and study it for yourself. So you will know that whatever it is that you are going through, you know, is for your good. It is good. Somebody said, this is good. Now, we can see that again in the life of the woman with the issue of blood. That woman suffered the issue of blood for good 12 years. She suffered, and people were staying away from her. People rejected her because of her situation. She went through a lot because of her situation. But while that woman never knew that her situation would make her to touch Jesus, that woman never knew. Imagine, many people, many people, you know, they go through a lot, but for the fact that they, they, they handle it wrongly, they don't know that Jesus have hand in it. That woman suffered for good 12 years. She, she lost all her friends. She lost families. She lost everything. She lost colleagues. She lost businesses. She lost every contact. She was not left alone. But one day done on her, when she knew that Jesus was passing by, she said, if only I could touch the garment, the hem of the garment of, of, of Jesus, I would be made whole. What happened? Do you know that this woman, she stink? Because she stink. If not for the stink, 
that, that was attached to her that made people to run away from her, they wouldn't have given her the way to touch Jesus. Because this woman stink. Nobody want to, nobody want to associate with a person that stink. The crowd was so much, was so much, billions of people, billions. This woman was at the end. So because she stink, when she's coming, people will be giving way, both sides. This one don't want her to touch him. The other don't want her to touch him. By so doing, the one on the left will give way. The one on the right will give way. She will have her way to pass. The way she's going, the one on the... Because nobody wants to have contact, body contact with her. So they were all stepping aside. The one on the left to step aside. The one on the left to step aside. The one on the left to step aside. The one on the right to step aside. As they all gather. By so doing, they were giving her way to pass. They were making, her, making way for her to pass. They were making, each time I study that place in the Bible, I am the most happiest person on earth, knowing that all things work together for good. Trust God. Let God be your all and all. Let, when God pick you up, when God pick you up, your life has a meaning already. Hallelujah. This woman with the issue of blood, nobody wants to have anything to do with her. Even our family members, they rejected her. Nobody. But thank God, thank God for the word of God. All things work together. This woman's situation make way for her to be able to touch Jesus. If not for her situation, with that crowd, she wouldn't have been able to touch Jesus. And the Bible recorded, the moment she touched the arm of Jesus, her, her issue, the issue she was going through for the past 12 years, that no doctor, no physician, nobody could take care of, she was made whole. She was restored just because she touched Jesus. How was that possible? How? It was because of her situation. If she was not in that situation, this woman wouldn't have been able to touch Jesus because billions of people were aware that Jesus was in town. They were following. So where she was was very far. There was no way, even in 10 days, there was no way that she could touch Jesus. There was no way, no way, no way. But to God be the glory. As she's coming, she's smelling. Ah, that's woman is smelling, give way. The other one, the left, ah, that woman is smelling, she give way. You understand what I mean? The other one, ah, that woman is smelling, she give way. By so doing, they were creating paths for her to pass. You know? They were creating paths for her to pass. They were creating the path for her. They were creating the path for her. They were passing. This one go this way, the other one go this way. The other one go this way, the other one go this way. So they were creating the path for her to pass. She was not having a way. They were clearing for her, like a president. You see how her situation make way for her? They were clearing for her as a pre like a president is coming. But they don't know. They were thinking that they were despising her. Mm, this woman stink. I don't want her to near me. They wanted, ah, this woman stink. I don't want her to near me. By so they were giving her way. They were before you 